Hey, so Soldier Knows Best here. I'm showing you how to replace a hard drive in a unibody MacBook Pro. Now, this is the 15 inch version, the one that came out in late 2008. Now, this is not going to work for the 17 inch version since it has a built in battery. It's a little different process, but it will work for the more popular version, the 15 inch MacBook Pro. And so now you're going to need three things. You're going to need, uh, of course, the hard drive you're going to be replacing it with. Uh, you also going to need a this is a 2.0 millimeter precision Phillips screwdriver. And this is a, a T6, a Torx screwdriver right here, a T6. So this will help get the screws around the hard drive off. Uh, now, and also the first thing you'll need to do, make sure you discharge any type of static electricity just by touching a piece of metal or something around you. Or you can wear one of those little uh, bands that you can do, but just touch something metal, you'll be fine. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to actually take this off. All right, so you need to remove the battery cover. Hit this little switch right here, push down on it, and it'll flip up. And the battery will take off like voila. And this actually has a little diagram here, how it actually take the hard drive out. So it's pretty neat. All right, but here's the hard drive right here. You don't need to take the battery out, but here's the hard drive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut real quick, zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing, and I'll be right back. All right, so the old hard drive is here, ready to go and be taken out to its final resting place. So the first thing you need to do, go ahead and take your uh, precision Phillips screwdriver and unscrew this one screw right here that's holding a bracket here in place. And you don't need to unscrew it all the way, just a little bit. All right, so now uh, most of the hard drives will have a little plastic thing right here to pull out, but I have shot this video a couple times before, so that's why mine doesn't have one in there, but you can take a little screwdriver here, slightly and gently pull up under it, and the hard drive will pop out like so. Now you need to remove, take off this cable right here, and now before we go ahead and send this hard drive off to bed, you need to remove these four screws right here. There's two on each side. And you just use your T6 Torx screwdriver right here to take these off like so. And I'm going to cut because I'm not going to bore you through this process. All right, so here's my new hard drive. And I already took those four screws. I took off the old hard drive and went ahead and screwed them into the new hard drive. So it's two on each side. And so let me go ahead and finish screwing in this last one here. So I do like the screw. And boom, there it is. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and your hard new hard drive is ready to be installed. So just go ahead and plug this cable back in like so. And now you want to insert it at a, a 45 degree angle towards the bottom of the computer itself. And it will slide in like so. And now you want to go ahead and take this bracket that you took off in the beginning. Put that in place. Take your uh, precision Phillips screwdriver and screw that one back in. And your hard drive is installed nice and tidy, nice and tight into your MacBook Pro. So now to go ahead and replace the battery cover on here. Like so, press down on the lever. You're good. All right, so this has been Soldier Knows Best here. Got a little sweat on my brow. All right, but this has been Soldier Knows Best. Very nice and easy installation to replace a hard drive in a unibody MacBook Pro. Very nice and easy. And like I said before, this will work with a solid state drive in my case or just a regular hard drive. And um, so you can find the tools that you need it because you you need these two tools. And I got these from Radio Shack, relatively low price. They're probably a little expensive. You got to get the whole pack. But you need a T6 and a, a 2.0 millimeter a precision, uh, precision Phillips screwdriver. But that's it. You'll install your um, new hard drive and you're ready to go and start enjoying some faster, faster computing. All right, Soldier Knows Best, and I'll catch you later. Peace.